Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to another perfect day here in the beautiful state of Utah. The single greatest car modification I've ever made in my entire life without a doubt, without hesitation is the FI exhaust on my Lamborghini Aventador, the biggest flamethrower you have ever seen in your entire life. And excitingly today, the FI exhaust for my 2020 Mark V Toyota Supra has arrived and boys, we're installing it. That's what's in the box. I am so excited for this exhaust. We got the full FI exhaust for the 2020 Toyota Supra. Uh, we gotta, we gotta unbox. Um. I cannot remember. I cannot remember the last time I was this excited for a car mod. I got my Supra at the end of July, and I could have gotten exhaust like a month ago. But after getting the FI exhaust for my Aventador, like. I had to get it for my Supra. It's been worth the wait. Check this out. What? Here we go. Perfect. I cannot remember the last time I was this excited for a modification. Like, the Supra is going to sound insane. We got James the Stradman right there. Frequency intelligence exhaust. So, I got to figure out how to put all of these components in the passenger seat. Uh, yeah. Yes, I am using bubble wrap as a seat cover. I better... I better not see any judgment in the comments below. I, I don't have a choice. It, it just is what it is. Let's be 100% honest. That could not have worked out any better. Like that is perfect. And then we got the foam. Bada bing, bada boom. Yes, yes. As you might say, now we're rolling. I'm, I, I'm getting a little bit excited. Like there's just something about the exhaust on the Aventador. Like it's changed my life, boys. Like I'm a better person because of the FI exhaust on the Aventador. And I just know that well, the Super's gonna be the same. I just realized I forgot to unbox quite possibly the most important part, the exhaust tips. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I might get copyrighted for Star Wars music. Whoa. We have officially made it in life. Whoa, check that out. Girth Nation, are you kidding me? What? That looks insane. It appears to be a fairly technical technique, but it's just normal cardboard and a blanket, and they said I wasn't resourceful. Yes, 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 yes. I would love to install the exhaust on the Super myself, but first and foremost, you guys know this, I know this, it's, it's good to be aware of your strengths and weaknesses, of which I have a lot of weaknesses, and well, not as many strengths. Anyways, uh, I'm an idiot, and if I did it, I would blow it up, and the car would be, anyways. So we're here at 8080, they're doing the wide body kit install as well, they're the guys for the job, I don't think, nope, they're not quite here yet, um, but soon. We are back here at 8080. Massive shout out to Casey. Dude, thank you so much. You are very welcome, like, man. it's Sunday afternoon. It's a nice and day. It is a nice day, but we're installing an exhaust. Check that out Toyota Supra A90, 3 liter, number 002. That is so sick. This might be the most beautiful exhaust I've ever seen in the entire world. And how cool is that to have the serial number 002? So 001 is the FI exhaust prototype. So we're the first customer FI exhaust in the entire world. This car is gonna sing too. Like these exhaust tips, like just look at this. That is gonna look absolutely insane. We have the FI exhaust and we have the OEM exhaust. Uh, quickly and quite swiftly, we are moving on up in the world. If anybody wants the stock exhaust off my 2020 Supra, check out the dumpster on 600 South in downtown Salt Lake City. It might be there, it also might not. But this FI exhaust is so sick. So Casey is removing the downpipe. Uh, we are moving quickly and when I say we, Obviously, I'm doing absolutely nothing in case he is a hero. Unfortunately, this is the most beautiful downpipe in the entire world, and we're never going to see it again. But it's just nice knowing that we have number two. Even though we can't flex it, it's just nice to know. And you guys think I do nothing. So look at, look at this. Put in the time and energy to hustle. This might be the coolest and saddest thing. This exhaust is so beautiful looking, but like, we're never ever gonna see it. But thankfully the exhaust tips are just absolutely unreal. That coloration is so crazy. That's gonna look so crazy, like with the black. Holy cow, <laughs> that's so sick. That's insane. Finally. <laughs> Jeez, 
That is insane. So that's sport mode, all valves open. Can I have the remote real quick? All right guys, so it's a Valvetronic system. So the valves are both open. We push this. We got neighborhood mode. So both valves are closed. One valve open, both valves open. Wait, that's still neighborhood mode. Take two. That's pretty sick. Let's rev it in uh, granny mode. Make it stop, make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. Again. This Supra looks mental. It looks so sick. This car looks so insane. What? Yes, 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 boys. We have finally made it. It looks obviously very, very goofy right now with the positive offset. Don't, don't pay attention to that. But the Pandem Rocket Bunny wide body kit looks so good. Dude, okay, that offset is awful. Like, I cannot stop looking at it, but don't worry, guys. Don't worry. I was joking earlier. We have wheels. They're going to be here soon. I'm in the Focus RS, and my buddy Max is driving the Supra. That car looks so silly. It looks like a kit car right now with that offset, but we're good. We're good. We just dumped the Focus. Max is still driving the Supra. I'm going to hop in with F-Spot in the Volvo, and we're going to get some rollers. Ah! 